Hello and welcome back to Classic Times. Today I'll be going through stage 34 of the Cambridge Latin course and I'll be covering the topics of the present passive infinitive and the future passive. Okay, let's begin. Present passive infinitives. So these are translated to mean to be something. For instance, to be carried. And first, second and fourth conjugation verbs form their present passive infinitive forms with the ending ri. And third conjugation verbs end in just i. And finally, deponent verbs. And just to remind you, these are passive in form, but active in meaning. And they form their infinitives, like present passive infinitives. And a few examples include conari, meaning to try, ingredi, meaning to enter, and oriri, meaning to rise. So now, I would like you to spot the differences and compare the ordinary present active infinitive forms with the new present passive infinitives. So you should notice that the normal present active forms end in RE and mean TO in English. However, the new present passive infinitive forms mean TO BE in English, and instead of ending in RE, they end in RI for first, second and fourth conjugation verbs, and I for the third conjugation. Now, let's move on and have a look at future passives. So a future passive is translated to mean will be or shall be. And for first and second conjugation verbs, the endings are as follows. Bor, beris, bitter, bimmer, bimini, bunter. And for third and fourth conjugation verbs, the endings are like this. Ar, eris, etter, emmer, emini, enter. So do you spot the pattern between these two sets of endings? They both have the characteristic passive verb endings, which are r, ris, ter, mer, mini, unter. So just like we did earlier in the video with present passive infinitives, I would now like you to compare the future active and passive forms. So as you'll notice on the left are the normal future active forms, for example, port a bit, meaning he, she or it will carry. And on the right, with future passives, they are translated with the words will be. And as I've already mentioned, they've got the characteristic passive verb endings. And just to reiterate one more time, the passive verb endings are r, ris, ter, mer, mini, unter. And those are useful as they're your clue letters to spotting a passive. And if you'd like to go back over present and imperfect passive verbs, then tap the pop-out banner in the top right of your screen to watch my video on just that. Anyway, back to this video for now, and it's time to have a look at some more vocabulary. Accusare to accuse, orctor, creator, me octore, at my suggestion, dum, while or until, frangere, to break, gordium, joy, hoard, not, modo, just, priusquam, before or until, Procol, far off. Quasi, as if. Sign, without. Sonitus, 
sound. Well means or, and vestimenta are clothes. And as this video is the last stage in book four, we also have a few deponent verbs to consolidate. Adipiski, to obtain. Comitari, to accompany. Canari, to try. Conspicari, to catch sight of. Egredi, to go out. Hortari, to encourage. Ingredi, to enter. Loqui, to speak. Mori, to die. Naski, to be born. Patti, to suffer. Prakari, to pray to. Proficiski, to set out. Progredi, to advance. Regredi, to return. Sequi, to follow. And suspicari, to suspect. And now, I've only listed the infinitive forms of those verbs, so for the full forms, you may wish to have a look in the textbook. And also, feel free to pause the video if you'd like to go back over those. And now, let's have a look at a few examples of present passive infinitives. Ankila yusit lecticam parari. The slave girl ordered the sedan chair to be prepared. Sewi in foro weedery, non poterant. The slaves were not able to be seen in the forum. Tribunus usit milites omnia cubicula per scrutari. The tribune ordered the soldiers to search all of the bedrooms. So as you can see, the first couple of sentences contain a regular present passive infinitive, meaning to be. However, the last sentence contains an infinitive form of a deponent verb, and it means to. And finally, let's have a look at a few examples of the future passive. Sewi ad aulam domitiani mitentur. The slaves will be sent to the palace of Domitian. Cana sumptuosa parabiter. An expensive dinner will be prepared. Imperator ad curiam in lectica portabiter. The emperor will be carried to the senate house on a sedan chair. So in all of these sentences, in bold is your future passive verb form, which has been translated with the words will be. And just to finally reiterate one more time, the passive verb endings are rurister mermini unter. And I'm sure you're probably sick of me reminding you of those already, but it's good, should make you remember them, hopefully. Okay. So I'd now like you to pause the video and have a go at these. So now, let's go through the answers. Wolo epistulam recitari. I want the letter to be read out. Imperator ad urbem regredi constituit. The emperor decided to return to the city. Cras nuntii ad regem mitentur. The messengers will be sent to the king tomorrow. So if you manage to achieve all three correct, I am really impressed. Well done. If you manage to achieve two out of three, you haven't quite achieved full marks on this occasion, but I'm sure you will in future. And if you only manage to get one out of three correct, then maybe a little bit more practice is required. 
and you might have just noticed some of my passive aggression to get you to practice more. Those were particularly bad puns, I'm sorry. They're going downhill recently. Anyway, enough of my puns. Let's wrap up today's video with a quick summary of stage 34. Present passive infinitives. So in the first, second and fourth conjugation verbs, these end in RI. And third conjugation verbs have their present passive infinitives ending in I. And they're translated meaning to be. Infinitives with deponent verbs. Well, these are formed the same as present passive infinitives and are simply translated to mean to, just like a regular infinitive would. And finally, the future passive. And just to say it one last time, the passive endings are r, r, s, t, m, m, i, n, i, u, n, t. And future passives are translated to mean will be. So thanks a lot for watching, it means a lot to me. And join me in my next video where I'll be covering stage 35 of the Cambridge Latin course.